Hi everyone and hi from Rudy. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing absolutely wonderful. Rudy is very excited because in amongst the home bargain purchases he had a new toy and he's just teared it to pieces, destroyed it completely and he's obviously feeling really pleased with himself about doing that. Well done. Record timing to get that squeaker out. <laughs> Let's put you down. You'll probably hear Rudy in the background, by the way, chewing on his little lamb toy. So if you hear weird noises, that's what it is. So I've just had a little trip to Home Bargains. It's Saturday today as I'm filming this anyway. But yeah, I've got a couple of hours until the boys come back. I thought I'd get us some snacks in. We can watch a film. They've been at the dad's for a couple of nights. So I'm very excited for them to be back at home. And the weather is not the best so it's just going to be a nice cozy afternoon in the house i think so a lot of the things that i got are snacky autumn evening sort of treats i've also filmed a little bit as well so i will include all of that footage just after i've shown you what i got we will jump straight into it because there's quite a lot also i've just lit one of my new candles winter forest which was from asda i did a little order because i needed to get some bits of uniform for the kids and yeah they do like a pack of two of them i think they're 10 pound for two of them smell really nice i've got a few that i've got my eye on i just really like the the outside of it as well it's a nice looking candle as well as having a nice scent so we've got the candle going and i can dive into my home bargains bags and show you everything so i did get this for dylan which i've been meaning to get for a bit i got him a new duvet which I think is about £8.99. Yeah, so it's an all season one, like all year comfort, single duvet. Now the reason I just got Dylan one is because I don't know what he does to his duvet. He's on the top bunk and every morning, every single morning, his duvet is all bundled up inside the covers. It doesn't seem to make any difference which kind of material the covers are either so i've just come to the conclusion that it must be his duvet if it's not his duvet it's him i don't know what he's doing in the night but like he just has this ball of duvet and it's so frustrating and obviously having to make it every morning is just an absolute faff so i'm hoping that with a nice new duvet which they could all probably do with anyway i could as well to be honest it's one of them things that i was thinking about when i was in there like new pillows and duvet how often are you supposed to replace them I put the cushions and pillows in the wash. Um, I don't know, but I feel like I could do with a nice plush new duvet. But anyway, I got this one for Dylan. I think it's, yeah, machine washable. So that's always good as well. I can stick it in the washing machine. But I'm hoping that will solve the issues of him waking up to just having a ball as a cover. <laughs> so yeah, that was something that I grabbed. 10.5 of all year single super soft duvet oh do you know what else i got i've already had a glass because it was thirsty when i came in and i wanted to try it i got some of this vimto so it's the mango and passion fruit vimto and i follow an account on instagram called major mum hacks she's just amazing and obviously shares loads of hacks and she shared this mixed in a blender with like frozen mango and it's supposed to be a lot like the costa mango cooler or whatever the drink is that you can get from costa it's supposed to be a bit of a dupe of that and much cheaper obviously but i think my kids will love that that with some frozen mango mixed up like how nice as a smoothie so i wanted to grab a bottle of this just so that i can try and recreate that so i've got frozen mango in the freezer as well so we might even make them a bit later on and yeah they can all have a nice mango smoothie i did get myself a candle as well another candle i'm just candle crazy at the minute this smells really strong i'm really impressed it's the candy cane lane ones they do these every year in home bargains mainly at christmas and autumn they do these like nice scents so i've got a spiced gingerbread scented candle Oh, it smells so good. I think it's a bargain candle. Like, how much? Three, like three ninety nine or something. Two ninety nine. It's a bargain. You cannot go wrong with that. And what a nice little gift it would be. Can't wait to light that. That's a really good. It's a good one. I would recommend that. Looks nice as well. I love the style. This style of candle. I'm also slowly gathering bits for the boys for Christmas. So I'm going to put together their advent calendars fairly soon next couple of weeks so last year did a video on it i did them all a box for an advent calendar and wrapped up loads of inexpensive things um for them to open and i want to do it again this year so i was just having a little look 
in home bargains of what they got that's inexpensive and I got a couple of bits for um, Dylan and Archie. I didn't get anything for Toby because these are chocolate things and he doesn't like chocolate but I got a couple of these. If not for their advent calendars they'll go in their stockings. They are these hot chocolate reindeer bombs which they just love doing. I got them ones not long ago from home bargains that were for Halloween. Um, but I'm going to put these up for Christmas. They've got chocolate chips and marshmallows in and they have loads of different kinds in there. I think these were the most inexpensive ones so I think they were about 99p each but then they did have some more expensive ones in there but I got the cheapest. Um, and they look really cute as well don't they? Really nice for putting together a like little Christmas Eve box um, with some nice pyjamas that they do in home bargains. One of these little cute mug. Like just nice inexpensive treats for the kids. So I've got both one of them and then I got a couple of these little Grinch chocolates they look a little bit like those Malteser ones that you can get like the rabbit at, at Easter those sorts of little packs I think they're about 59p I don't know if they've got anything in them or whether it's just solid chocolate but it's a little Grinch shaped one which obviously for Christmas is just perfect nice for putting in the advent calendar like Nice little inexpensive treat. I just need to find some things for Toby that's not chocolates. And preferably not really sweets either. I don't want to fill it up with sweets, but it's trickier with him because he's just not a chocolate fan. So strange. I don't understand how I can have a child that doesn't like chocolate. Um, <laughs> Because I definitely do. I also saw these and thought these would be good for their lunch boxes. Dylan loves Jaffa Cakes. So they're little snack packs. They remind me of those little boxes that you could get those little plastic ones that when I was in primary school, always wanted to have in my packed lunch because I used to see people with the mini Jaffa Cakes and I always think, God, I want one of them with the little orange box that they'd come in. But yeah, I think you get three in each. There are six packs and they're individually wrapped in the, with the three in each pack which I think is just perfect for their lunchbox or a little treat after school. Do you remember the advert for Jaffa Cakes as well that used to be on? If you're in my sort of age bracket with the woman totally clips when she'd eat the Jaffa Cake to teach the kids in class. I always think of that when I see Jaffa Cakes. <laughs> but yeah, a good one for lunch boxes or just for my handbag, to be honest. I also want to quickly show these that I didn't get today, but um, I don't feel like I've shown them properly. I've shown them very briefly in like a vlog, but I get asked quite a lot um, about where this mug is from when I put like a picture of my coffee on Instagram. So this is the double walled pumpkin mug that they do in Home Bargains at the moment. I love it so much. It was like £1.99. It's a great size. I think it looks really expensive. I think they do a similar one in B&M as well. Can't fault that. I do love um, a glass mug every now and again. And then I also picked up this, which I've already used to death. This pumpkin chopping board. I love like little, I can never say it charcuterie boards um i love putting things like that together S snack boards in other words and tapas and things and i, I love a um a wooden board for putting things like that on so they do a nice pumpkin one um in home bargains they also had i noticed today when i went a um gingerbread man one for Christmas which I might have to purchase because I do love a chopping board don't know what it is but I love to just have them all over the kitchen and like I say I do use them a lot I love displaying food on them <laughs> and the kids can just graze and I can graze and it's yeah but yeah there are a couple of things that I just wanted to show again because I think they're good finds in home bargains at the moment I also got one of these not exciting but I don't know why all of our I feel like I go on about charges all the time and i'm sorry if i do i just feel like it's much more of an issue in my life than i ever thought it would be having working charges in the house and having the kids say their charges don't work and then my charger not working and then them borrowing mine and someone is going missing and then they take them to their dads and they don't come back and it's like charger drama drives me mad I got a new wire anyway because I've noticed that mine is now deciding it doesn't charge. So this should work with an iPhone, hopefully. Yeah, I just got a, a cable. I think it was one pound forty-nine, one pound fifty. Oh, I got washing out. It started raining. Hang on, I'll be back. I'm back a little soggier than I was before. How does it go from blue skies to sudden downpours? 
You hang it out and it's nearly dry. That's when it decides it start, to start raining and clothes are soaking again. And like literally the time you're taking it down, like everything is just drenched. Anyway, back to home bargains. Like I say, a little snacky night tonight. So we've got a couple of massive bags of flaming hot what's it that the kids are a big fan of. Um, they were like on offer for £2.50, £3.50, £2.50, £2.50 for the two bags just for a film tonight. Don't know what film to watch yet. It's always hard trying to find a good film that's like of interest to all of those, um, but also like age appropriate. And it's always a drama, isn't it? Finding a good film to watch as a family. I feel like we've watched everything as well. We'll see. I'll have a good look after this. Um, but yeah, a couple of bags of them. So I'll stick some in a bowl and we can have some crisps to snack on. They're much bigger on like crisps and sweets than they are chocolate really. Um, which is better for me because I love chocolate and if I bought loads of chocolate I'd be eating more chocolate than I would like to. I also got a couple of bags of sweets so again for tonight um, we've got a bag of squashies and some of these giant skittles. They do so many different kinds of skittles now don't they? Like absolutely loads of choice but I got some of the giant ones because I quite like them. A couple of lunchbox snacks, something like this just so, I, honestly I've said it before I'm an advertiser's dream the fact that they just make these Halloween themed just by the packaging I'm like like look at that they called them scares instead of squares I just think well done whoever's on the advertising um team for Kellogg's because I think that's you know it humoured me slightly anyway um yeah marshmallow scares so these are a good one toby to take with him he normally takes like one of these and a bit of fruit and a smoothie or something to school with him um he has a dinner as well whilst he's out of school but like as his snacks to last him throughout the day um normally i'll put one of them in so i've got some more of them because it's a big pack of eight normally a bit cheaper than tesco i think like sometimes you're like two pound for four of them which is extortionate really these are two pound 65 for the eight of them so much better value also some of these little individually wrapped bn biscuits he's going on a trip next week as well toby is um so i'm gonna probably shove a few extra snacks in his case just because it'd be a nice little surprise for him when i pack everything for him um, and he likes these as well well they all like these so i've got some of the bn biscuits in the little I think you get five in each of the packs just the jam ones so yeah some of them as well i also got a few seasonal cleaning bits so i got the febreze um sugar plum delight spray which i've already sprayed around which i very very much like it's a really nice scent limited edition smells amazing they do like the floor cleaner in it as well and they do a febreze which they, I didn't see, but I'd quite like to get um, in the same scent. Yeah, I'm loving that. And also I got a couple of these winter indulgent, I love a seasonal scent, I really do. So we've got winter indulgent Sif cream cleaner. Love a bit of cream cleaner for the bathroom. Really find it like just a good cleaner. Cleans, cleans things good. Um, so yeah, we got the winter indulgence scent in that and also the surf detergent, which I don't use very often. I normally always use non-bio, well I do use non-bio for all the kids stuff, but if I'm putting stuff on that's just mine, I just wanted something that was a bit more scented just for my stuff. It smells very nice. You get 24 washes in that. Again, because Toad's going away, I got him a new toothbrush. Well, there's two in there, but I'll give one to Toby. Always get a new toothbrush if they're going somewhere. He's going like all week on a trip with school. So new toothbrush and then his own toothpaste that he can take. The toothpaste was like 89p and the toothbrushes were 99p. So yeah, I need to put together a little wash bag for him. And then I just got some of these for 99p, some of these wipes, which I just find good for getting my eye makeup off before I do all the rest of the makeup removal and cleansing and toning and all of that um because eye makeup is a pain wow that rain is really coming down now i nearly left the washing because i thought it might like blow over but it's a good job i didn't because it's like a full-on storm now out there which makes me just even more in the mood to get cozy and put a film on and eat loads of food i'm going to show you what i filmed in home bargains now so you can just have a look at a lot of the new things things that are in for um, autumn and stuff still and Halloween. So here you go, come and have a little shop with me. I would be up waiting for you if you had to leave. I would wait a lifetime if you were at sea. I had to 
just want to say that I feel that our love is real. Maybe we should hurry up and seal the deal. you from across the room when our eyes met I never knew that I could feel this way and it's kind of strange don't even know your name I don't know you but I want to get to know you just want to get to know you So there you go guys, that is everything for today's video. I hope you're having the best day ever um, and yeah, I would love it if you came back again for my next video. Bye everyone!